In my last video, I show you how you need to create a dual data label chart in Google Sheet which show you the actual value along with the percentage. And this chart is very very useful instead of pie chart. Now in this video, I will show you another way to create a target versus actual chart along with the percentage from the target. For example, in this case, you can see some of the columns are red and some of the columns are green. Now in this chart, you can see some of the column are red, which means they are lower than the target and some of green and some of the column are green, which means they are greater than the target. Now each and everything is totally dynamic. For example, if I change the target to let's say 2000, hit enter, each and everything is dynamically updated. So how we can create this amazing chart in Google Sheet, I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this data sheet on which I have the name of months and total sale. Somewhere on the sheet, I have the monthly target as well. The first thing we need to create these five helper column and for these we need to apply a very simple formula. For the target column, I will simply type equal. Select a single cell where you set a monthly target. Hit F4 key to log the reference. Now hit enter and simply drag this formula till the end of the data set. For the up cell, this means we need to calculate the cell which are greater than the target value. So how we need to calculate? Simply type if condition, open parenthesis. If this value is greater than or equal to the target value, then in this case, I want to return the total cell, hit comma, Otherwise, I want to return a blank result, close parenthesis. So this is a simple if condition. Now I will hit enter and simply drag this formula down. For the down cell, I will type a very easy if condition again, open parenthesis. If this cell is less than the target value, hit comma, then in this case, I want to return the total cell hit comma otherwise i want to return a blank result close parenthesis and this is the simple formula now i will hit enter in this case i will accept the suggestion and this is how we create a simple up sell and down sell column now for the percent up and for the percent down we need to calculate the percentage changes first so how we need to apply simply type equal open parenthesis how to calculate the percentage changes? First, we need to select the actual sale minus the target sale, close parenthesis, divide by the actual sale and simply hit enter. Now I will accept the auto suggestion and this is how we calculate the percentage changes. But of course, we only need to show the up sale when we have the sale greater than the target. So how we need to modify this condition, I will apply a very easy if condition. For now, I will simply select all of the formula, hit Ctrl X, type if condition, open parenthesis. I will close this helper. You can apply if this cell is greater than the target. This is the one way you need to apply if condition. But I think we can easily apply if this cell equal to blank. Then I want to see the blank result hit comma otherwise i want to see my formula result close parenthesis hit enter and now simply drag this formula down again click on percent down column apply if condition open parenthesis now in this case if the down cell is equal to blank then i want a null result hit comma otherwise i will hit control v to paste my percent change formula Close parenthesis, hit enter and simply accept the suggestion. Now the last thing we need to apply absolute function just to remove this negative sign and this is very very important. So what I need to do, I will apply absolute function for the person down only, abs, open parenthesis and simply close parenthesis on the end, hit enter and now simply drag this formula down. Now our data sheet are ready. The first thing we need to select all of my table. Click on insert. Click on this chart option. 
and simply move this chart on a right area. The first thing I will increase the width of this chart a little bit more. The next thing here you can see series, total sale series, target series, up sale, down sale and percent up and down. The first thing we need to remove the total sale series. The next thing I will scroll a little bit up. First I need to select the stake column chart and this is very important. Again I will click on this drop down and simply choose the combo chart. Now I will click on customize. And here you can see series option. First we need to select apply to all series and simply choose the column. Now I will select the target and we need to choose a line series for this. Now we need to do format one by one series. First I will select the target. Scroll a little bit more. For the line color I will choose the black color. And for the line type. I will choose this dash line. Now I will scroll up and select the up sale series. For the fill color, I will choose the green fill color. And now scroll a little bit down and simply apply the data label. Again, we need to do the same step for the down series. So I will select the down sale series. For the fill color, I will choose the red fill color. And we need to apply the data label. Again, I will choose the percent up series. Now, for the fill color in this case, I will choose the white fill color. Scroll a little bit more and simply apply the data label. For the label position, simply choose inside base. For the label text color, I will choose the same green color. Make it bold as well. Now, scroll a little bit up again. And simply choose the down series. For the fill color, simply choose the white fill color. Apply the data label. For the label position inside base. And for the text color, choose the same red color. Simply make it bold as well. The next thing, I will select this legend and simply hit delete key. Click on this grid line. And here you can see simply uncheck this grid line. For the grid line and tick here you can see vertical x axis horizontal. Simply choose the horizontal x axis and apply this major tick. Scroll a little bit down. For the tick position I will choose none. And now you can see a nice horizontal line. The next thing we need to off the vertical data label. Click on this data label. There is no way to remove. But I will choose the text color as the white color. And for the label font size, I will choose a six point, which is a minimum size we can adjust. Now I will click somewhere inside of my chart and this is the plot area. I will decrease the plot area a little bit more. Now I will scroll a little bit up and we need to write the chart title. Simply choose the chart title and now simply write whatever you want. For the text color, simply choose the black font color, make it bold and center align as well. This is all about how you need to create this nice amazing chart. Now if I hide this column, for example, right click and hide this column. We need to select include hidden data and that is all about. Now if I change my target, hit enter. Each and everything is dynamically updated. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something useful. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. If you have anything else in mind, just write me comment. Thank you so much.